Hey guys, Cage Vape back here again from Vape SW. I got another basic Ego Tea kit for you. Uh, the other one I reviewed was the uh, teal colored standard atomizer kit. I'm going to be showing you another one today. This is a different variation. This is the Ego uh, slash Stardust CE4 uh, clearmizer, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's multiple different names for this. Uh, and it's because of these tanks. This is a uh, 510 uh, inside, of course, 510 connection uh, that will work with most of your Ego kits, but it's also a tank with a wick and wire in the inside, already pre-made for you. Um, and I'm gonna show you pretty much how to assemble this and use it and vape it. Um, Pretty much if you're watching this, you probably already checked out the other video on how to charge it. This is going to be the same method with these type of batteries, the same charging method. You simply just screw it into the USB charger and charge away. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these batteries out for you. Um, this is, of course, is a stainless steel model. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and power it on. As you can see, five button press, power on, five button press, power off. So it's locked, cannot accidentally fire in your pocket. Let's go ahead and fire this back on. All right, and then we have, of course, our uh, CE4. Um, this is not a CE5, so it's not a rebuildable. This is a CE4. You are unable to remove uh, the element itself in the inside of this. That being said, though, these are still fairly easy to clean out and get rid of juice, uh, so for multiple reuses. And I'm gonna show you proper filling techniques with these just to avoid any additional flooding. Um, but this is it all together without any juice in it. As you can see, it looks pretty sleek, pretty nice. Um, it does have a drip tip that is its own uh, proprietary threading. They do make adapters uh, that can screw into these that you can use a 510 drip tip with. Um, but for now, we're just gonna use with what comes with it. So as you can see, this drip tip simply just screws into place and locks the juice inside of the tank to avoid spilling. Um, they're pretty durable tanks. I've, I've seen some people crack them uh, using certain juices, uh, so that's one thing that you do want to avoid. But all in all, um, as long as you're not using banana or cinnamon flavor, uh, you should be pretty good with these tanks, and they're they're pretty they're pretty durable. I, I've only seen them break when somebody's got it in their pocket and uh, and they sit down the wrong way, or they put it in their back pocket and they sit on it and crush it. Well, you know, that's kind of your own fault, in my opinion. But we won't discuss that. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it is locked and not firing. It's locked. Go ahead and remove the drip tip from the top. Set that down. And I'm going to grab some juice. Now the best thing to do with your juice is not to pour it directly in. As you can see in the inside here, there is a hole. That's actually for airflow. You do not want your juice getting in there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to hold it kind of to the side. Hold your bottle kind of to the side a little bit, and then you can rotate it a little bit at a time just to make sure that it's filling down the side. As you can see, it is filling down the side, and we don't want to fill this up too much. Usually with these, I fill it up to the top of the wicks. Uh, so fill this bad boy up. And it looks like I'm at to the top of the wick. So I set my juice down for a moment here. And you're going to take your drip tip and you're going to screw it back down in. Now one thing is, is after you fill this, you probably have some residual juice that's left over. Uh, that's on the outer rim up here at the top near the silver sleeve. So you just want to take a napkin and kind of wipe that away. I didn't have any because I didn't make a mess. Uh, but, you know, when you're filling on the go, you're probably going to. Uh, so this is it with the juice in it. As you can see, you can see the juice. There is a measurement, uh, as you can see, it goes to 1.6 milliliters. That just tells you how much juice you've got in here. Again, you don't have to fill it to that line. You can fill below it, you can fill above it. But the primary thing I would avoid doing is filling it completely full. You want to fill it to about right where that rubber uh, gasket is right here in the inside. You want to reach it to about... I'm sitting a little too high for it, but it, it's it's not bad. You can do the same thing. Uh, but you just do not want to fill this thing up to the top. It's just going to immediately flood on you. You're going to be cleaning this out, and it's going to be really gurgly. Uh, so that being said, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy back up. Let's make sure that it's firing. 
I'm going to set it next to your ear and you can hear it. I'll put it next to the mic. As you can hear, it is firing. So I'm going to go ahead and take a puff off of this. I'm going to take a dry hit first before I press the button, though, just to make sure the juice is getting into the coil. There's my dry hits. And it's tasting pretty good. So a little bit of vapor production, you can't really see it again. This is how my camera is set up. Um, but all in all, it's firing very well. Uh, it is it, the only the only concern that you're going to have with these devices is when your juice starts to get a little bit low, it's going to kind of start sitting down about right here. It's going to ha have a little bit of a hard time pulling the juice up to the wicks to get inside into the coil. So uh, a technique that you'll see a lot of people doing is when that does get a little bit low, they're going to hold the device like this when they're vaping it, which is completely fine. One thing I would avoid though is um, I would say to avoid sucking hard on the drip tip, and I yeah that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to pull too hard uh, because you'll start sucking the juice through uh, these wicks uh, through the holes and immediately into the air hole, causing uh, flooding and also you getting juice inside of your mouth, which is not fun. Again, uh, so that being said, this is just as simple as unscrewing. And sorry, I just knocked my camera. Um, simply just unscrewing it and, uh, and you're, and you're good. This is phenomenal. This thing does not leak. Uh, CE fours have been around for quite a while from the beginning. CE one, CE two, CE three, CE fours are CE fives that are now rebuildable. The CE fours are fantastic still to this day, uh, because they do not leak. Um, the only time they leak would be due to anything that you do inside here in the center post. If you play around with it, if you're not screwed in, in correctly, um, those are really the only reasons why. And like anything, if you mess with it, it it's probably going to break. Uh, these, uh, these Ego batteries, these are a little bit bigger. These are, I believe, going to be, and I probably should have the instruction manual somewhere, which I do not for this one. Um, I believe the battery size of these are 900 mAh. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I believe that they are. But quite a bit of battery life out of these devices. They'll last you about all day, depending on how much you vape. You get two of them in, in this kit, including two of the CE4s, or if you will, Stardust, Clearmizers, what have you. You also get a nice little carrying pouch for this, which assembled with the CE4 on top does not fit uh, so it does kind of hang out of the top a little bit so the best thing to do and again that's the reason why this tank is awesome is just take it apart set it right beside it they all fit in there nicely snap it closed and there's your kit uh, you can't really tell what's in this bag it's a nice little black kind of transparent so you can tell how many devices are in here but you just don't know what it is so it's nice to have in a pocket or in your purse, it doesn't look like an e-cig, which I don't really care. I like to show off my e-cigs, so that's not a big deal to me, but it keeps it from uh, from damage. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together again, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my juice. Uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Please subscribe and check out vapesw.com if you're from Southwest Vapors, uh, New Mexico Vapors, Utah, California, Texas, uh, Arizona, Nevada, uh, we pretty much covered all, all the Southwest. Um, again, thanks for watching.